Are you running ads for your products on Amazon and other sellers getting credit for the sale? Hey, this is Nick Hodge with Sellers Arena. And in this video, I'm gonna go over something that causes a lot of confusion sometimes, and that is if you lose the buy box, if you run out of inventory and other sellers are selling on your listing, are you still running ads and paying for those sales or do you automatically just stop paying for them? This is a question that comes up every now and then, whether it be with our clients or you know just floating around the Facebook groups, et cetera, is that when you lose the buy box, for example, or for whatever reason, okay, you're out of inventory, you're not able to actually sell the product anymore, but your listing is still active. Say for example, if there's other sellers on your listing or something, and now they have the buy box, will you continue to pay for those sales if you are running ads? Yes and no. So in the first example, there's two different scenarios in this case. So one is if you're running sponsored product ads, okay? Those are the normal ads that we can see here, you know, showing up in the search results, okay? These top of search ads right here. If you lose the buy box, if you run out of inventory, for whatever reason, you're not actually selling your product anymore, these ads will automatically turn off for you. You're not going to pay for the sales of somebody else that may be, you know, running on the tail coats of your listing. You know, all of a sudden now they have the buy box. You're not gonna pay for that. However, the second scenario, if you are running sponsored brand ads, for example, this banner ad above here, and you run out of inventory and you have someone else selling on your listing, if they win the buy box and you are still running ads, if that listing is still active, Amazon is going to see that that is a sponsored brand ad. All they care about is the brand is getting credit for the sale and you will show that as a sale in your seller essential dashboard, even though you actually didn't make any money on that, but you did pay for it. So that's an example of something where you're going to want to, you know, kind of pay attention. So if you do have that issue, if you do have other people selling on your listings that are competing for the buy box, you want to monitor that. Okay. You want to keep an eye on that. If you lose the buy box and you are running sponsored brand ads, you're probably going to want to pause those. Uh, otherwise you're going to be paying for the sales that you're not actually getting credit for. So one tool that we recommend, if you do want to keep an eye on that is Helium 10. They have great monitoring within their platform and I'll actually go into that in a, a later video and actually show you how to set that up. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty good feature they have. And yeah, I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can check that out and get a discount on Helium 10 if, you're, if you haven't tried it out yet. But yeah, I just mainly wanted to talk about this particular issue and just kind of get that cleared up to begin with. Again, later on, I'll be going into Helium 10 and how to set that up. But yeah, until next time, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I come out with that next video. And yeah, I'll see you then.